Hello guys, Kid Boys here. So yeah, I have been looking into the internet. Hey, but seems like no one has made a guide on this particular stage yet. It's uh, four dash eight. I tried it a few times. This is actually my third time here. The first time I brought a fire team with Antonidas, Gaden, and um, Ragnaros. But well, that's the moral of the story. Do not bring a fire team. Also, the second time I brought my Anduin healing team, but well, I guess I was not tanky enough and I got killed by this cleave damage. That's why I've refined my stuff and brought in the boys. Everybody's here. So let's see if this works. And if you're a new viewer, make sure you subscribe to the channel for free so you do not miss out on awesome content. So let's get on with it. Yeah, I'm sure if this stage has given me problems, it's gonna give a lot of people bigger problems as well. So yeah, let's see if this is the correct build to bring in order to deal with this. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the boss. So at the end of each turn, restore 40 health to all your other dragons. So everything else here, these volcanic drakes, except for the boss itself, restore health. So don't bother hitting them, just hit the boss. Your characters cannot be frozen and have 10 fire resistance. So in total there's 20 fire resistance, that's why the Baron Ragnaros team did not do anything to those guys. So yeah, let's get on with it. Of course, Mukla's big brother is going to tank a little bit of damage for us. Yeah, let's just... Aim everything at the boss, and then Mukla's big brother can just chill. I should really wish that they hit first, so that we could heal, but... Ugh, look at that cleave damage. That's... Pretty huge. So I'm gonna go for the Nova. Valiant's Blessing combo. Yeah, with Mugula, you just Banana Frenzy. Double cast. Bang, bang. What a damage. So yeah, you really want to heal up your Endwind. Otherwise, you know, if you lose Endwind, you pretty much lose the game. Just restore health to my own characters, and hopefully they all stay alive. Kabow. I actually got the treasure to kill any summons, so it's actually quite okay. Okay, so looks like this time we're gonna clear it a lot easier. So the only difference is I put on more health for Anduin so it doesn't get chain pinged by their ability, as you saw there. So yeah, this is gonna be an easier win. So I think this comp really reliably clears this. I think I was just really, really unlucky on my last run. So bam! Now that we have taken care of the boss, these dragons, oh, wow, they still paying for so much. Maybe I should have, you know. We're still not in the clear yet. Let's focus down one of the dragons. Uh, heal, yeah. Just attack. And every time I heal, I gain more health, so I'm at, yeah, basically uncurable range. So yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend bringing the item where whenever a friendly character is healed, gain plus 5 health. 
Gonna make it cast twice and then attack. Double Nova, everyone is going back to full pretty much. <laughs> Edwin has 205 health now. GG, well played. So yeah, this is how you beat the stage. With Anduin and Valen, and of course, our tanky boy, King Mukla. So yep, that's how you clear the stage. Hopefully that's gonna help you, because it gave me a little bit of trouble early on the game. So yep, if it helped you, make sure you subscribe to the channel for free, so you never miss out on awesome mercenaries, news, guides, tips and tricks content. Thank you again, and peace out.